fun, but now she's done. <laughs> I'm Karen Parsons. You probably know me better as Hillary from The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. But these days, I'm founder of Sweet Blackberry, an educational organization that teaches stories of little-known African Americans in history to kids. I'm also a wife, and most importantly, I'm a mom. <laughs> Do you always wonder what questions you should ask your child's teacher in order to help him or her stay ahead? Parents are always being told that they should have a lot of involvement in their child's education. But from a teacher's standpoint, how much involvement is expected? It's simple. As much as you can. Here are some pointers. Number one, all that paperwork that your kids bring home from school, read it. I know you don't want to, but read it. Send your child's teacher all your contact information or the best ways to get a hold of you. Email is great. And last, ask your teacher if there's any concerns that they have, if there's any way that you can help at home. It's been just a little over a month since school started, and if your house is anything like mine, that first hour getting everyone ready and out the door can be complete chaos. But with a little pre-planning, you can help your family develop a smooth and hassle-free morning routine. Check the weather forecast and agree on a weather-appropriate outfit and hairstyle with no complicated zippers or buttons so your child can dress herself. Put together any parts of breakfast and lunch that you can. Pre-bag snacks, cut up fruits and vegetables, put cereal and bowls on the table, vitamins out, and lastly, Easier said than done. Get to bed on time so you don't have to deal with morning crankiness. Having a hard time packing your child's lunch every day? Well, here's dietitian Shannon Morris with some tips on how to help you pack a lunch with a punch. Hi, Shannon. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good, thanks. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So can you help us with some tips on how to make our child's uh, our children's lunch healthier? Sure, there's a really easy principle that moms can use when they're making their kids lunch. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure you use as many colors as possible or just more than maybe you're used to. So if you're looking in your lunch bag and you're having all the same colors, mix it up a little bit. You wanna add some greens in there, maybe some grapes or spinach or purples for even more grapes or even some sliced grapefruit, you never know. Okay, and it's okay to mix it up obviously with fruits and vegetables. Yes, just like the new My Plate, you know, fruits and vegetables should be half of your plate. Do you ever notice that when you pack plastic containers like this one inside your kid's lunchbox, they never seem to make it home? Well, something that you can do to solve that problem is you can put things inside of sandwich bags. So if your kid happens to like salad, you can put the salad inside of the bag just like this. You can pour a little bit of dressing inside. Just enough, you don't wanna saturate the greens. You're gonna close up the bag nice and tight. You can put this inside of your kid's lunch box. When they get to school, they can shake it up nice and good, eat it with a fork, really cool, so much cooler than their friends, and you don't have to hunt down the plastic container. I'm always hearing that it's never too early to prepare and encourage your children with learning. But my son is only four. So what can parents do in the early stages to encourage their kids and help them get a head start? Here are some tips. One, expose your child to various activities to see what sparks their interest. Two, educational toys can keep learning fun and capture small children's attention. And three, create learning opportunities in your day-to-day, -day, like daily chores. Have them count as they put their toys away. And also, never underestimate the learning power of alphabet soup. Thank you for watching the first episode of Mommy in Chief. The beginning of the school year can be a challenge for all of us. So please, I encourage you, stay strong. Now for more information on my organization, Sweet Blackberry, please visit www.sweetblackberry.org. And for more parenting tips, please log on to madamnoir.com. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Madame Noir and like us on Facebook. And we want to hear from you. You can use our official hashtag, Mommy in Chief, to talk about the show, ask questions, or just tweet with other mommies in chief. Thank you. See you next time.